hello everyone so in this video we will discuss about our fourth cranial nerve that is trochlear nerve so trochlear nerve is basically our purely motor nerve and the smallest we can say the cranial nerve but it has a long intracranial closest pathway is very long and it supplies our extraocular muscles only one extraocular yeah, eye muscle and its nucleus we have discussed in our rhomboid fossa nucleus video in which we have showed the location it is present the nucleus of the trochlear motor nucleus of trochlear nerve is present at the level of inferior colliculus of midbrain uh, that is on the posterior surface of midbrain so here this is your inferior colliculus this level of midbrain at the inferior colliculus so this is your inferior colliculus in which our dorsal nucleus of trochlear nerve is present inferior colliculus so this is your cerebral aqueduct and inside this we can say basically at the level of this we have our two dorsal nucleus so these are our dorsal motor nucleus of trochlear nerve So from here the nerve fibers uh, exit and before exiting from our brain they have a decussation that is this this will supply your uh, contralateral side means if this is right uh, nerve fiber this will supply your left uh, eye muscle superior oblique muscle because trochlear nerve only supply one eye muscle that is superior oblique eye muscle so before exiting from brain place they have a decussation so so before exiting so here the nerve nerves cross each other so this is your degussation so if <coughs> any paralysis occurs on your left side it will affect your right eye muscle that is your right eye will be affected due to left uh, nerve uh, paralysis or any type of injury so from here so from here the nerve fibers uh, goes through your uh, this is only motor so this, it contains only motor fibers and this goes through your uh, cavernous sinus So in the lateral side of the cavernous sinus, it goes through the lateral side of cavernous sinus. In cavernous sinus, uh, many more nerves also passes. That is, ocular motor also passes through this, through this. Your ophthalmic and maxillary branch or trigeminal also also passes. Abducens also passes from this, and one artery also. That is, main artery, internal carotid artery also passes through this cavernous sinus. So this is your cavernous sinus. So from here, uh, after exiting from cavernous sinus, is now exit. Now it goes into your skull. Skull. It goes to the eye orbit. So entering the eye orbit, it comes out from the skull through your same that is superior orbital fissure. Uh, that is ocular motor also exit from the uh, skull cavity through this fissure. That is superior orbital fissure. This is your superior orbital fissure. So we have discussed two exit places. So first uh, exit places, exit place. So first exit place is from your brain as your. Uh, so first exit place from brain is your superior medullary vel velum. So one point uh, I forgot to tell you that this is the only nerve <coughs> which exit from your dorsal exit expect of brain. That is other nerve basically uh, exit from your brain from the anterior side. But this is the only nerve that is trochlear nerve exit from your dorsal side. That is exit from your dorsal side through superior medullary valve. Reason of the superior medullary valve. It is present in your midbrain at the level of midbrain. Just below your optic chiasma. So this is your superior medullary valve is your exit place from your brain. Medullary valve. And from your skull is same as your superior orbit with as oculomotor. So this is your uh, from skull your superior orbital fissure so so it is purely motor so it doesn't contain any type of ganglion so it directly supplies your eye muscle that is only one eye muscle that we know that is your superior oblique muscle superior oblique muscle Mm -hmm. So, uh, so any type of clinical, but basically important clinical of this uh, injury to any of paralysis to this trochlear nerve can occur to your uh, diplopia. That is double vision. We say is at clinical points. 
so this is a clinical uh, diplopia uh, can occur if any type of paralysis occur this is your double vision if uh, our person is seeing one object he will see that object uh, two images of that object so and this uh, occurs uh, when you are reading or you are walking this occurs when you are reading or walking so when reading or when you are looking uh, downwards or you are walking downstairs or walking on the stairs then your uh, double vision or diplopia occurs so if, if, if your eyes uh, you are on the level just below your horizontal plane uh, to your body then this diplopia occurs if your eyes are above the your uh, horizontal plane then your vision will be single if your uh, head is downwards or you are looking downwards or reading books or you are walking or you are looking down downstairs so while in this position of your body you will feel vertical diplopia so this condition is basically your vertical diplopia so we can say it as vertical diplopia in specific conditions so so for specific is that in the position above your horizontal plane this diplopia doesn't occur in the in case of your trochlear nerve damage so basically below yeah, you are looking downwards so this case your trochlear nerve is damaged so this uh, clinical occurs so this is your basic scheme of your talking now. Thank you.